Levi the book of Leviticus, chapter 24. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they bring to you pure oil of pressed olives for the light, to make the lamps burn continually outside the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of meeting. Aaron shall be in charge of it from evening until morning before the Lord continually. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. He shall be he shall be in charge of the lamps on the pure gold lamp stand before the Lord continually. And you shall take fine flour and bake twelve cakes with it. Two tenths of an ephah shall be in each cake. You shall set them in two rows, six in a row, on the pure gold table before the Lord. And you shall put pure frankincense on each row, then it may be on the bread for a memorial, an offering made by fire to the Lord. Every Sabbath he shall set it in order before the Lord continually being taken from the children of Israel by an everlasting covenant. And it shall be for Aaron and his sons, and they shall eat it in a holy place, for it is a most holy to him for the offerings of the Lord made by fire, by a perpetual statute. Now the son of Israel, light women, whose father was an Egyptian, went out among the children of Israel, and this Israelite woman's son and a man of Israel fought each other in the camp. And the Israelite's woman's son blasphemed the name of the Lord and cursed. And so they brought him to Moses. His mother's name was Selamith, the daughter of Debri of the tribe of Dan. Then they put him in custody that the man that the mind of the Lord might be shown to them and the Lord spoke to Moses saying take outside the camp take outside the camp him who has cursed then let all who heard him lay their hands on his head and let all the congregation stone him then you shall speak to the children of Israel saying Whoever curses his God shall be shall bear his sin. And whoever blasphemes the name of the Lord shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall surely stone him, the stranger as well as him who is born in the land. When he blasphemes the name of the Lord, he shall be put to death. Whoever kills any man shall surely be put to death. Whoever kills an animal shall make it good, animal for animal. If a man causes disfigurement of his neighbor as he has done, so shall it be done to him. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. And, as he, and he has caused disfigurement of a man, so shall it be done to him. And whoever kills an animal shall restore it. But whoever kills a man shall be put to death. You shall have the same law for the stranger and for one for from your own country, for I am the Lord your God. Then Moses spoke to the children of Israel, and they took outside it, and they took outside the camp him who had cursed, and stoned him with stones. So the children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses. The book of Leviticus chapter 25. And the Lord spoke, sp spoke to Moses on the Mount Sinai, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When you come into the land which I give you, then the land shall keep a Sabbath to the Lord. Six years you shall sow your field, and six years you shall prune your vineyards and gather its fruit. But in the seventh year... There shall be a Sabbath of solemn rest for the land, a Sabbath to the Lord. You shall neither sow your field or prune your vineyard. What grows of its own accord of your harvest you shall not reap, nor gather the grapes of your un untended vine 
for it is a year of rest for the land, and the Sabbath produce of the land shall be food for you, for for you, your male and female servants, your hired man and a stranger who dwells with you, for your livestock and the beasts that are in your land, all its produce shall be for food. And you shall count seven Sabbaths of years for yourself, seven times seven years, and the time of the seventh Sabbath, seven Sabbaths of years shall be to your forty-nine years. Then you shall cause the trumpets of, the, of Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. On the day of atonement you shall make the trumpet to sound throughout all your land. And you shall consecrate the fifteenth year and proclaim liberty throughout all the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be jubilee for you, and each of you shall return to its possess possession. And each of you shall return return to his family that fifteenth year shall be a jubilee to you it in it you shall neither sow nor reap what grows of its own accord nor gather the grapes of your unintended vines for it is a jubilee it shall be a holy to you you shall eat its produce from the field in its in this year of jubilee it each of you shall return to its possession and if you sell anything to your neighbor or buy from your neighbor's hand you shall not oppress one another according to the number of years after the jubilee you shall buy from your neighbors from your neighbor and according to the number of years of crops he shall sell to you according to the multitude of years you shall increase its price and according to the few fewer number of years you shall diminish its price for he sells to you according to the number of the years of the crops therefore you shall not oppress one another but you shall fear your god for i am the lord your god so you shall observe my statutes and keep my judgments and perform them and you sh will dwell in the land in safety then the land will yield its fruit and you will eat your fill and dwell there in safety and if you say what shall we eat in the seventh year since we shall not sow nor gather in our produce then i will commend my blessing on you in the sixth year and it will bring forth produce enough for three years and you shall sow it in the eighth year and eat old produce until the ninth year until its produce comes in and you shall eat of the old harvest the land shall not be sold permanently the land is mine for you are strangers and sojourners with me and in all the land of your possession you shall grant redemption of the land if one of your brethren becomes poor and has sold some of his possessions and if he is redeeming relative comes to redeem it then he may redeem what he what his brother sold if the man has no one to redeem it but he himself comes becomes able to redeem it then let him count the years since his sale and restore the remainder to the man to whom he sold it that he may return to his possession but if he is not able to have it restored to himself then what was sold shall remain in the hand of him who bought who bought it until the year of jubilee and in the year of jubilee it shall be released and he shall return to his possessions if a man sells a house in a walled city then he may redeem it within a whole year after it is sold within a full year he may redeem it but if it is not redeemed within the space of a full year 
then the house in the walled city shall belong permanently to him who bought it throughout his generations it shall not be released in the jubilee however the house of the house of villages which have no wall no walls around them shall be accounted as fields of the country they may be redeemed and they shall be released in the jubilee nevertheless the cities of the levites and the houses in the city of their possession the levites may redeem at any time and if a man purchases a house from the levites then the house what that was sold in the city of the of his possession shall be released in jubilee for the house of the city of the levites are their possession among the children of israel but for the field of the common land of their cities may not be sold for it is their perpetual possession if one of your brethren becomes poor and falls into poverty among you then you shall help him like a stranger or a sojourned sojourner then he, that he may live with you take no usury or interest from him but fear your god that your brother may live with you you shall not lend him your money for usury nor lend him your food as a at a profit I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan and to be your God. And if one of your brethren who dwells by you becomes poor and sells himself to you, you shall not compel him to serve as a slave, as a hired servant and a sojourner. He shall be with you and shall serve you until the year of Jubilee and then he shall depart from you he and his children with him and shall return to his own family he shall return to the possession of his fathers for they are my servants whom i brought out of the land of egypt that they not be sold as slaves you shall not rule over him with rigor but you shall fear your god and if ye and as for your male and female slaves whom you may have from the nations that are around you from them you may buy male and female slaves moreover you may buy the children of the strangers who dwell among you and their families who are with you which they beget in your land and they shall become your property and you make them as a inheritance for your children after you to inherit them as a possession they shall be your permanent slaves but regarding your brethren the children of israel you shall not rule over one another with rigor now if a sword sojourner or stranger close to you becomes rich and one of your brethren who dwells by him becomes poor and sells himself to the stranger or sojourner close to you you or to a member of the stranger's family after he sold after he is sold he may be redeemed again one of his brothers may redeem him or his uncle or his uncle's son may redeem him or anyone who is near of kin to him in his family may redeem him or if he is able, he may redeem himself. Thus he shall reckon with him who bought him. The price of his release shall be according to the number of years from the year that he was sold to him until the year of Jubilee. It shall be according to the time of hired servant for him. If there are still many years remaining, according to them, he shall repair the price of the redemption of the money with which he was bought. And if there remain but a few years until the year of Jubilee, then he shall reckon with him, and according to his years he shall repay him the price of his redemption. He shall be with him as a yearly hired servant, and he shall not rule with rigor, 
over him in your sight. And if he is not redeemed in these years, then the, then he shall be released in the year of Jubilee. He has he and his children with him. For the children of Israel are servants to me. They are my servants whom I brought out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Thank you very much for listening with me. It's a strange reading, but I'm going to do some more deeper study on that. Um, I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of the day you're reading this or listening to this. Have a great evening and or have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye now.